I testify that Joseph Smith was and is the prophet of this last dispensation. It was he who, through the gift and power of God, translated this holy book. This is the book that will help to prepare the world for the second coming of the Lord. Now, brethren, will you please remain standing and join with our chorus in singing all three verses of Rise Up, O Men of God. While you sing, think of your duty as God's mighty army to help prepare the world for the second coming of the Lord. This is our charge. This is our privilege. I so testify in the name of Jesus Christ. We must learn to receive revelation. Our Savior and Redeemer Jesus Christ will perform some of his mightiest works between now and when he comes again. We will see miraculous indications that God the Father and his Son Jesus Christ preside over this Church in majesty and glory. But in coming days it will not be possible to survive spiritually without the guiding, directing, comforting, and constant influence of the Holy Ghost. My beloved brothers and sisters, I plead with you to increase your spiritual capacity to receive revelation. My dear sisters, we need you. We need your strength, your conversion, your conviction, your ability to lead, your wisdom, and your voices. We simply cannot gather Israel without you. I love you and thank you and now bless you with the ability to leave the world behind as you assist in this crucial and urgent work. Together we can do all that our Heavenly Father needs us to do to prepare the world for the second coming of His beloved Son. You remember that I have invited the youth of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to enlist in the Lord's Youth Battalion to participate in the greatest cause on earth today, the gathering of Israel. I issued this invitation to our youth because they are unusually gifted in reaching out to others and sharing what they believe in a convincing fashion. The cause of the gathering is an essential part of helping to prepare the world and its people for the second coming of the Lord. Let me be very clear about this. If the world loses the moral rectitude of its women, the world will never recover. We Latter-day Saints are not all of the world. We are of covenant Israel. We are called to prepare a people for the second coming of the Lord. Of course, the crowning jewel of the Restoration is the Holy Temple. Its sacred ordinances and covenants are pivotal to preparing a people who are ready to welcome the Savior at His Second Coming. Now, as we contemplate this significant time in the history of the world and the Lord's charge to gather scattered Israel in preparation for the Second Coming of Jesus Christ, we, the First Presidency and Council of the Twelve Apostles, issue the following proclamation. Its title is, The Restoration of the Fullness of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, a Bicentennial Proclamation to the World. We testify that those who prayerfully study the message of the Restoration and act in faith will be blessed to gain their own witness of its divinity and of its purpose to prepare the world for the promised second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord is gathering those who will choose to let God be the most important influence in their lives. For centuries, prophets have foretold this gathering. 
and it is happening right now. As an essential prelude to the second coming of the Lord, it is the most important work in the world. May we go forward together to fulfill our divine mandate that of preparing ourselves and the world for the second coming of the Lord. Part of the gathering of Israel, and a very important part, is the charge for us as a people to be worthy and willing to help prepare the world for the second coming of the Lord. Between now and the time the Lord comes again, we all need our homes to be places of serenity and security. The Lord will increasingly call upon his servants who worthily hold the priesthood to bless, comfort, and strengthen mankind and to help prepare the world and its people for his second coming.